This is the J.R. Hendrick Texan gentleman podcast that deals with the early in life of my alter ego, J.R. Hendrick. This episode is in a narrated format, commentary by myself and J.R. Relax and enjoy the adventure. Take care. God bless. Welcome to the podcast. Uh, it's me. I'm my trusty alter ego, Jr. <laughs> well, this is still the Christmas season. Uh, here a minute, Jimmy. How about we crack open the ginger ale and talk this out? This podcast is called. This episode is called The Prophecies of Apollo. It's an interesting one. Tail end of 1995. Uh, Sharp downturn in the U.S. economy. Government shutdown. <laughs> Let's just say U.S. economy... <laughs> Does not end well in 1995. Bob Dole is considered the front runner for the uh, Republican Party. So we're going to go ahead and get into this. They are do the intro. Okay, so we heard about the Christmas Day. What happened the next few days was so unreal. I returned to Midland the afternoon of the 26th, and I went to a birthday party for little Thomas at a pizza place and passed out. Mama called Dr. Bertrand, and he said it was most likely... Uh, an infection he wanted to see me within a few days mama decided she was going to return to the ranch with Kyle and Madison on January 3rd but daddy was going to stay behind with his dream team in Gainesville I was well enough to attend a home group Bible study, the 28th. And having Jim Bob around, cut through some of the tension between Brad and Karen. 9 a.m. Jr. is piled up in his bed when his cell phone rings. It's Brad. I'm just glad glad you got out of there. T- to be honest with you, I think Kyle was going to be irresponsible and trying to run your family home in Gainesville, just like he was the ranch. I promised you, if Daddy doesn't su- do something with him, I will. (laughs) You could see you were pretty fed up. I was. Don't do anything stupid, kid. Look, there's a New Year's Eve uh, party with the singles in my church. uh, Sunday night. Would you like to go? Brad said. Brad? I am miserably piled up in this bed with a bad cold. So I don't think it's a good idea for me to go and make everybody else sick, Jerry said. 11 a.m. What is left of the Hendrick family uh, and party 
and so and, and, and some of Jim's friends are having lunch. Andrew House, who is having his last program for the year taped. Jim was going to be on his program sometime after lunch. Kyle has taken Madison and the kids for a rodeo in Amarillo. The last time he would take James Moorhead's bull out. Things were not going so well for J.R.'s father either. In Washington, D.C., a few members of the SBA started a whispering campaign against him. So, in to, to that extent, Jim would be talking to his uh, press attaché, John Sestina, over the phone. 1 p.m. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, Mike Fields is on the phone with Betsy. Yeah, he's still sick, Mike Fields said. Mary's giving him cold medicine, juice, and Gatorade to keep him uh, going. His specialist showed up Thursday at the ranch and says he thinks it's another dose of adrenaline fatigue. Don't worry. We'll keep an eye on um, an eye out on him in between us and Carmen. We'll make sure that on the 3rd of January he goes to see Dr. Bertrand. 5 p.m. Mary Fields gently coaxes JR to have some rice. A boiled egg and some orange juice. It's obvious to her that JR's spirits are low. Sleep it off. Dr. Venture Nelson says that most often. You'll be well with this, with this within a week. 9 p.m. At the ranch, JR asks for some Gatorade, and Carmen gets it for him. 6 a.m. JR wakes up and asks for a boiled egg and toast and uh, orange juice. Some progress from the day before. Thomas is working the ranch, milking and feeding the cows, collecting eggs from the chickens, feeding the chickens, and supervising the feeding of horses in the barn. 10.30 a.m. Jim and Betsy, Claude and Janet, along with Andrew and Margaret House, arrive landing in Baton Rouge, where a Cadillac stretch limo would meet them to take them to Mary Jane, the Hendrick estate on the Baton Rouge side of the Mississippi River. 1 p.m. Meanwhile, at the ranch, Thomas makes JR go downstairs to the kitchen to have his favorite chicken fried steak. You ain't going to get any better until you get your strength up. And that means eating, JR. Thomas said. Only doing 
what I saw Granddad do. I appreciate that, Thomas. Sometimes that means I need to to eat even when I want to stay plant uh, put up in that bed, Jerry said. We're just looking out for you, Rachel said. You can't be your best next semester. And then go off to law school. Unless we get you better. To him. Nothing would do but that Jim had to charter a pontoon houseboat for his friends to enjoy a day out in the in the uh, the Baton Rouge side of the Mississippi River. Claude had the hard. The, made the chef make some fried shrimp for everyone. Betsy also asked for the specialty gumbo for herself and Claude. Three p.m. Jar sitting up in the living room, drinking Gatorade and eating crackers when Thomas comes in with his report card. Public policy, A. Political communications, B+. plus. Political uh, contention, A+. Plus. Mass communications law, B+. Plus. International in, in, intro political analysis, C+. Plus. 5 p.m. In Baton Rouge, the chef makes shrimp fettuccine alfredo. Claude and Jim had just come back from some champagne to have. Now that Jim had just gotten off the plate, uh, Quarter show uh, for the premiere celebration and a second bottle to pop open on New Year's Day. 6 p.m. Back at the ranch, as Jim appears on the Blake Carter show, Gail has another chicken fried steak dinner with cheesy garlic potatoes. He was still partly sickly. And really didn't, he really didn't say that much that day. Spent most of the time playing on the bed. 10 p.m. In the upstairs sitting room of the ranch, J.R. falls asleep on the couch as Thomas and Mike Fields set up a humidifier nearby. They covered him up with his grandmother's double comforter and gave him a chance to be his best. I don't want to give this episode a very good rating. I'm sorry, JR. I'm going to have to give it a 1.3 ginger ale. Uh, I'm going to have to give it uh, a double comforter and some Gatorade. Same here. Hope you enjoy listening to the JR Hendrick Texan Gentleman. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and become a part of the adventure. Until next time, get ready for the rest of the story. It gets a lot brighter from here.